Hey everybody, I'm at Central Park West 72nd Street in New York. Behind me is the Dakota Building, home of John Lennon and of course Yoko Ono. Still is the home of Yoko Ono as far as we, we know. Today is the 6th of December so in, in a couple of days time it's going to be really busy here for obvious reasons. Um, but today actually, a couple of days before that, this, is, this, this was the day when John and Yoko were interviewed by Andy Peebles. Uh, BBC Radio on that famous interview but the reason I'm here is I just wanted to show you uh, the, the Strawberry Fields Memorial that's in Central Park. I just wanted to show you how close it is to the Dakota building. So I'm stood at the Dakota now and it's literally just over there. I'm going to tell you a couple of things about the about the Strawberry Fields Memorial but I'm just going to head over there and show you how near it is and then we'll talk a bit more about it at the end. So we're just headed over the road. Now we're just heading east now, just into Central Park. So I'm into Central Park already, um, having crossed over from the Dakota. I'll just show you the Dakota there on the corner. So we're going to carry on now, uh, heading over towards the Strawberry Field Memorial. Gotta be careful for bikes, there's bikes everywhere around here. So, ah, here's the sign already. And we're into the Strawberry Fields area already, uh, which I'll, I'll tell you something a bit more about in a moment. But here is the famous Imagine Mosaic. It's very quiet here because it's only it's only actually half past eight in the morning. Uh, so it's usually really busy around here. You've nearly always got somebody on guitar playing. Uh, so weirdly, a few days ago I was here and it was nearly all Paul McCartney songs that they were playing, which was, which was quite weird. Uh, just the occasional John Lennon song splattered in, but there's, there's some good guitarists here playing. So it will certainly get busy here later on. And in a couple of days on the 8th of December, it's gonna be, I would presume, really busy here people paying their respects to John. So this Strawberry Fields area, this was an area where John and Yoko would come. Uh, obviously you've seen just how close it is, it takes literally a minute to get here. And after John passed away, Yoko started working with the New York authorities to try and set up some sort of permanent memorial to John. She didn't want a statue because she didn't think John would want a statue. So this area, she worked with various countries who provided plants and stones uh, from different countries around the world so that it would be like a living memorial but that it would have like a real sort of international flavour. So this was opened on 9th of October 1985 which was would have been John's 45th birthday. This was then open to the public and uh, it's just it's just a great place to come and just sit and and relax. Uh, I was here a few days ago. Let me let me just tell you a little story. So I'd said a few days ago I was going to do this, and I did come down later that day and record the video. And I watched it back when I got back, and it was just so awful. I refused to post it. It was just really bad. Uh, camera was all over the place, as this probably is anyway. But it would probably be better than the last attempt. And I just thought, no, I'm not. No, I've, I've, I've got some sort of standards. I'm not going to post it. So I've come back down this morning. It's just three stops on the subway from where I'm staying near Times Square. Uh, so it's really easy to get to. And uh, it's just a nice place to come and relax. So when I was here the other day with, uh, with Mrs. Dixon, um, she's not a Beatles fan in any way whatsoever, but this was one of her favorite things, just to sit here and relax and be peaceful and listen to some guy on the, on the guitar playing. So if you've never been here, uh, I hope you uh, appreciate it from this, just, just how close this Strawberry Fields Memorial is to where uh, John and Yoko lived and where Yoko does still live. Uh, and if you are ever in New York, it's a real nice uh, place to come to. You can either get you can either get to the bottom of Central Park and have a nice sort of 20 minute walk up here, uh, probably not even that to be honest, less than that, uh, or get the, the C train up to 72nd Street, which is what I've just done this morning. So I'm going to head back now, have my breakfast, and I'm coming back home to England later on today. I'll see you all again very soon. Cheers, bye bye.